Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So let's move along and do the ornamental wreath. So the ornamental wreath is actually a three-dimensional wreath just like you see. So it has a bit of polyfill in the middle to give it a bit of poof so that when it sits in the pocket it is three-dimensional and it's three-dimensional when it sits on the tree as well. So what we have is that we have two panels that are round that are put together and I'm gonna show you some secrets with that and then they're put together and then you do the outside layer just like this and then you just apply your bow to it. So it doesn't take very long. It just takes a few minutes to be able to make one of these. So you can actually do a whole tree of these if you really wanted to. So when we go to do this, so we're gonna start off in the center and build our way out. There's only two rounds to do. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a secret right in the very beginning to save you a little bit of time and frustration as well uh, in order to really kind of save you a lot of time which a lot of us don't have it around the Christmas time because we're so busy making crafts for everybody. So without further ado, let's grab your five millimeter size H crochet hook today. The pattern uh, for this is available in the more information of this video as well. So let's begin starting your wreath. So as I mentioned, there's two layers of this particular panel and they're gonna be sandwiched together and then after you get both of them done, we're going to sew the middle together and so therefore it'll look like there's a groove on the outside and we're gonna lightly stuff it and then gonna um, go through both of them to be able to put on the edging just like so. So grabbing your five millimeter size H crochet hook today, I want you to grab up your yarn. Now to save you time in the future, ensure at least one of these okay have an extra long tail because you're going to use that to sew them together in the center so you might as well have the string available to you right off the hop. So just leave an extra long tail and then create your slip knot. So to begin we're going to only chain eight. So let's do that together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and without having your chain twisted at all, insert your chain or your hook into the beginning chain and just yarn over and pull through and through to form the center ring. Just leave this extra tail out of the way so that you're not having to bother with it. So moving along, we're going to then chain two. So that doesn't count as a half double crochet, so just chain two and in each one of these chains, and there's a total of eight of them, is that you're going to put in two half double crochets into each. So this will allow the center to grow out. So in each chain, I want you to half double crochet twice. Okay, so just take your time and then maybe be back at the end of this and I'll see you just at the back and then I'll show you how to be able to uh, put those together. So once you have all your half double crochets in, there's a total of eight sets. There's two in each one of the chains. Just slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet that you started with to finish that off. So you should have a center ring around the, uh, the middle here and then just leave that uh, strand off to the side. So let's begin your next round. This is the final round here. Chain up one and then we're gonna put a single crochet, two of them into the first one right directly below it where you did the join. And now in each of the half double crochets all the way around, I want you to place in two single crochets in each. Okay, so two single crochets in each stitch going all the way around. Please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So once you get your two single crochets into each, I want you then just to insert your hook into the beginning single crochet and slip stitch and now you're done. So let's just fasten that off and we don't need an extra long tail to fasten off. Just uh, fasten it off and just weave in your ends. And what we're going to do next is that you need to do one more of these. So if you left an extra long tail on this one, the next one you don't need to. You only need to leave an extra long tail on one of them because we're gonna use th that one to be able to fasten them together. So what we're going to do next is that I'm gonna show you how to attach the two pieces together with the string that is left in the middle. So now you have two panels. So you're gonna use the one with the extra long tail and so these are both the right sides up. So you wanna turn at least one of them upside down so that the wrong side is facing up and so then the right side is facing up and the wrong side will be sandwiched together with this one. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put this strand onto a darning needle 
and we're gonna sew the middle together. So going and just sandwich them together. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my bearings of where I am here. Just go through the middle of the other one. Okay, so everything is being put together and then just on the other side just come back through and through the front panel like so and you're all you're just doing is just whip stitching it together in the circle in the middle. So just making sure you're going through both. From my uh, uh, point of view I can see it so I know it is going together so I'm just going through the panels. And what I'm doing is that I'm just putting the middle together because we're gonna use our crochet hook to put the outsides together and lightly stuff as we go to form the border of the wreath. So when I sat with the designer back in um, the summertime with these ideas like I, you'd really like this designer particularly. She is a lot of fun and uh, we kind of she did a really good job. Like to design all these little piddly little ornaments is actually uh, uh, quite a task because you have to uh, make sure everything is kind of unique in its own way and she did a great job. So now that I have gone all the way around, see I can see that I have where you can separate them out is that all I just wanna do is just take this needle and just glide it in and out of the project three times. So one and it's green anyway so you can hide it pretty good. Two. And three. So that's how you kind of hide in your loose stuff. So you can do that again in the future. So now we're going to cut that down and now you have your pieces just like you so see here. So now what we're going to do is lightly stuff this as we then put the outsides together with a different color. Okay to do the next part you're going to need some polyfill and this is just uh, some stuffing. You can get this at a craft store, Michaels, Joanne, all of those beautiful places. So what you're going to do is take your other color you want to use for the outside of your wreath. In this case it is a off white kind of idea and you're going to insert um, your hook in and what you want to do is you want to treat both of these thicknesses as the same. So you're just going to go through the first one okay and, you, and then you're going to go through the second. Okay, so as long as you just match up one stitch you should have the same counts on either so it should be good. So what you're going to do is that you're just gonna pull through and through, chain one and I'm just getting you started before you do the polyfill. You are going to place in one single crochet into the first one and then two into the next one. So two single, so going through both thicknesses the next one has two so one and two and then chain two. So this is kind of giving you a little bit of ruffles on the outside. So the next one is just one by itself. So one and then the next one has two. So one and two is in that one and then chain two. So before you get too far what you want to do is that you have a little bit of a gap that is in, in between. So you're just going to want to take a bit of polyfill, nothing crazy and all it's just going to do is just going to give it a little bit of a puff when you're doing it. Okay so as you're going around I want you to stuff this. So let's just re review one more time. So remember that the first one is going to be one single crochet, the next one is going to be two single crochets and then chain two and then continue that again. So one in the next two into the next one, chain two and just make sure you continuously stuff as you go. And again if you put way too much you'll blow up the stitches so just be light about it and just move things around as you're crocheting. So please do that step now. So I'm coming back around and I'm ending in chain two and I'm slip stitching to the first single crochet that I had started with. But you're not going to fasten off here because we need to create a loop to hang this from the tree. So you just slip stitch it here and then all we're just going to do then is just chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then just slip stitch to where you had started and that'll create that little loop that will go around the Christmas tree um, button itself and then you're just going to fasten it off but you want to make sure that you leave enough yarn to be able to hide that in and again it's like the same technique that I did I showed you before in and out three times and I want you to do that and then we'll be back and then I'll show you how to do the bow that is on the other one. So now that I have it fastened in just like you see I want to be able to put on the bow. So I'm going to use a darker color other than the pink that they kind of used here. So again that's creativity that's up to you on what you want to do. So leaving an extra long strand of string 
just so as extra security create a slip knot and then put your hook onto it and then I want you to chain 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So once you get that done, just leave an extra long tail just in case you need it. And we have the strand that will make the bow. So now I want you to take the very base of this so decide what you side you like best and take the very base and just look straight down and then just go in behind and insert your hook behind one of the posts. Now grab in the yarn strand for the bow just pull through and just pull halfway of that chain all the way through. So just leaving it so that I can see approximately where is half on here. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pull on these really, really tight on the base here and I'm just gonna snip out and then I'm gonna do the other side. Just pull really, really tight and that'll lock it into position and snip. And so now all we're just going to do is tie this into a bow. So just going around as normal for a bow and then just loop it around. It's like tying your shoelaces really. And then just kind of being gentle about it. It's amazing you think that long chain would too long and then until you do it and then you realize that it's. So you just want to keep adjusting until you get it right. So I'll be right back in just a moment. So here is my bow. In a, now if it bothers you that it's loose, you can always take a glue gun and just tack it down and just put it right to the wreath. If you really wanted to, just tack it and so it keeps it in a position permanently or you can just let it hang and dangle naturally just like you see here. So this was how to do the wreath ornament. As you can see, there's not a lot of work involved. Um, it's pretty easy to do and uh, you can have a lot of fun doing these kind of concepts. If you wanna move the wreath further down and hang it right from the base, that's up to you again. Your creativity, do what makes sense for you. You could even add an extra your little Christmas decorations here just using embroidery work as well and again that's up to you. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. Have a good one. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.